Hey, what's up everyone? This is Matt from the channel Conjecture, and you're watching a brand new channel called Everything Else. And let's go on a walk and I'll tell you what that's all about. All right, so this is a collaboration channel between Dale from Think Fact, Jabril from SEFD Science, Jack from Jack Sci, or the Jack Chapel Sci, I don't know what he's calling it anymore, and me, Matt, from Conjecture. We started this channel because we're all friends and we just wanted to make stuff together. And because we have, our content is kind of educational, sometimes it's hard to get stuff out either in a timely manner, like you might have noticed with my channel, and sometimes we just wanna do stuff that might not fit within the theme of an educational channel too well. So this channel is basically everything else that we want to do that maybe we wouldn't normally. We'll be uploading videos once a week on Thursday. I'm going first and then Jack will be after that. There's a schedule in the description showing actually when we'll upload. Uh, and on months with five Thursdays, we'll have to do a live hangout on the fifth one. What is this, new girl? <laughs> Alright then. Cool, so that was kind of the channel intro, what everything else is all about. And there's so much stuff down here, oh my gosh. Now, I can start talking about what I was actually going to talk about. Alright, let's get you sit down here. Okay, I want to talk about a small part of an article that I recently read. The article is all about how education can change in the future to become more student-oriented and learning-oriented, and that's really, really cool. Totally give it a read in the description, but that's not even specifically what I'm going to talk about right now. You see, this article talks about a math problem that was given to a German mathematician, Carl Friedrich Gauss, in the late 18th century, and I just wanted to tell it to you. Basically, Gauss's teacher told the class, add up all the numbers between 1 and 100, and she expected it to take them, you know, hours or whatever, adding it up one by one, but Carl Friedrich Gauss figured it out in, like, a minute or something. I'm kind of far away from this shot here. Okay, as I was saying before I fixed the zoom, Gauss figured this out in something like a minute. There was a really efficient way to solve this problem. And I didn't find that solution, but I did find another one that I thought was cool and wanted to show you. And by the way, if you want to try and solve this problem, then just pause the video and go for it. And don't just add up all the numbers because there are other more fun and impressive ways to do it. Okay, here's how I did it. Obviously, I'm not going to add up all these numbers, but I knew that a good way to do this would be to figure out a pattern with a smaller group of numbers and then try to multiply it to get to include all of the numbers. So I started out looking at just 1 through 10. And if you add all these up, you get 55. So then I thought, all right, what if I look at 11 through 20? And when you add those up, you're going to get 55 again because the ones digit doesn't change, but you're also going to have 55 plus 100 because there are 10 groups of 10 which together combine to make 100. After I looked at this, I realized this was the case. All these 20s are 55 plus 200s, these 30s are 55 plus 300s, and so on and so forth. It's basically 55 plus 100 times the first digit number. And then all we have to do is add them up. So this is 10 fives here, which makes 50, and then 11 fives, 55, and then add five, and this is 45, so that makes 50, and we get 5,050 as our answer. So yeah, that was how I solved it, and I just wanted to share it with you because I thought it was kind of cool. Also, the way Gauss did it was even simpler. Instead of 10 groups, he did 50 of 101 each. 1 and 100 makes 101, 2 and 99, 101, 3 and 98, 101, and so there are 50 groups of 101, and so you multiply those and get 5,050. This is honestly something I probably would have put on conjecture, but I felt like it was just a little short. So it's here, it's the introductory video, there we go. If any of you found any other solutions to this, then post it in the comments, I'd love to read it. And if you have any suggestions or questions or thoughts about this new channel, everything else, uh, tell us about them, we'd love to hear them. Jack, I will see you on Thursday. I got a weird sense of nostalgia when I said, Jack, I'll see you on Thursday, probably because on my own channel for such a long time, I said, brother, I'll see you on weekday, but now at least this one is actually going to happen. Jack, Thursday.